you want to go ahead and uh, see if everything's working smoothly, if you want to go ahead and put in the chat box where you're joining us from. I am currently in Charlotte, North Carolina. You want to tell us where you're joining from. Mike, where are you at? You're on my screen, so I'm calling you out. <laughs> Lincoln, Nebraska, sadly. Nebraska, all right. We got right. Antonio, Texas here. Georgia, Utah. Not just Utah, you put Park City. It's oh, I'm sorry. It's Park beautiful up there. <laughs> Jonathan Soul, I'm from Salem, Oregon. Glad to have Oregon on here. Is that Duckland? Uh, Eugene, it's about an hour Eugene. south. Yeah. Okay. Duckland. Oh, so much like go ducks, yep. <laughs> yeah. There we go. There it is. Okay, good. Same page. I love to see it. We have a wide variety of states here. We got people from all over. I love that. Colorado Springs. I'm heading to Denver tomorrow. All right, folks. Well, let's go ahead and get started. Um, we're going to have a few people join us here as we continue, but I think we can, you know, start the introductions. So thank you so much for joining us today. We are so happy to have you. Um, this webinar is put on by Leap and Company Cam, but we also have Job Progress, Engage, and Equal View with us here today. Um, and we're also excited to really tell you how the five of us you know, the five companies really work together to bring the best customer um, experience that you can you can have out there. You know, um, the winning tech stack is all about the different companies and all of the things that we do individually, but also how we all work together to create an amazing customer experience. Tom, if you want to go ahead and click to that next. Perfect. Um, I'd like to introduce our hosts today. We have Tom Bash um, and Mike Knott. Tom Bash is um, the Director of Business Development and works closely with home improvement contractors to better understand the unique challenges, providing solutions to solve them, aligning strategic partnerships. Um, and prior to working at Leap, he had worked in the improvement industry for over six years, helping contractors adapt to technology. So, you know, he can really speak very greatly on today's topic. Um, and we also have Mike Knott with Company Cam. Mike, um, has been with Company Can since 2019. Originally starting in sales, Mike has onboarded over a thousand companies and is passionate about helping companies find the best solutions to their workflow issues. Mike now focuses on partner development, mainly integrations, and work alongside fellow industry software providers to find the best field to office solution for Company Can customers and industry pros. Um, so those are our hosts, and now I'd love to introduce our speakers today. We have Pam Torrey and Brady Campbell. Pam is with Engage. Pam is the director of marketing for Engage and leads leading the sales presentation software provider for the home improvement industry. Prior to joining Engage in 2019, Pam worked for FinTech company in Chicago and was tasked with building out their marketing operations, onboarding lead generation strategies and sales and marketing reporting. Um, and we have Brady with EagleView. Brady leads Eagle View's partner business development organization where he works with leading technology providers to create integration solutions that solve critical challenges faced by con construction, roofing, and solar contractors. For the past decade, Brady has helped hundreds of contractors grow their business by modernizing their operations and measurement processes using technology. And since now that you know our hosts and our speakers, I'd love to pass it over to Tom, who is really gonna kick things off for us. I don't know how I follow that up. Mike, did you write that yourself or is that somebody else who wrote that for you? I did not write wow, that. Wow, <laughs> that's impressive. <laughs> well, awesome. Well, thank you, Maddie. Uh, we'll go ahead and, and really get started here. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm honored to be joined by uh, not only Mike, but also Pam and Brady and uh, bring to you, um, you know, how, how these software companies, technology companies are uh, enhancing and improving um, you know, the customer experience from, from start to finish. And we're going to walk through that today, uh, really dive in uh, to how technology plays a role and how it is, has shortened the time you need in home. It's shortened uh, uh, the, the time from when a, a homeowner calls in to uh, have you come out to their home all the way till final payments received. Um, and I, I was thinking back to the antiquated ways 20 plus years ago when I was, <laughs> when I first got in this industry and, you know, writing down the homeowner's name 27 times and, and, you know, John Smith ends up, you know, Joe Smith by the end and 
you've got a different address on there and you go file this thing down in the basement and they call you back because, you know, you did their, their roof, but now, you know, they want their gutters done and, and you've got to go search for that file, pull it out of the filing cabinet. Uh, it's just, just so antiquated. And thankfully today we don't have to do that. Uh, there's, there's a bunch of software and technology out there and we want to talk about uh, how we integrate, how it works together and how it enhances the customer journey. So uh, we've got some high level uh, things on the screen here, but we're really going to dive in. Um, but first, I, I just want to give everybody a chance to, to introduce themselves a little bit more than uh, what Maddie had given and, and tell us about the companies. And I'll, I'll lead off, um, you know, uh, Leap acquired Job Progress six, seven, eight months ago. I lose track of time. Just <laughs> I don't know if today's Monday or Friday or Thursday. Just it all, it all blends together. Um, but Job Progress is an essential product, productivity platform for all home improvement contractors. It's got fully customizable workflows, customer tracking, invoicing, material ordering, estimates and proposals, built-in messaging, and much, much more. So we'll dive into to more of that today, but just want to give you a high-level uh, overview. Uh, Brady, love for you to share uh, some info about Eagle U. Yeah, thanks, Tom. Appreciate the opportunity to chat with you guys today. And um, really excited to kind of talk through just what we're doing today with our partners um, with Job Progress Leap. Uh, I think there's some great opportunities for everyone to learn a lot today. Um, but for Eagle View, so we're we're a measurement company. We're, we're kind of more of an actual imagery company. And the fact is, is that most people think we're actually using satellites, um, but we're actually using fixed wing aircraft. It's the best way to do it. And this is namely because when you're looking at a satellite, um, like the picture shows, it's millions of feet up in the air, right? And the quality of that image is not as great as you, what you want it to be. So um, the other obvious solution is our drone solutions, which is it's great. It's just not as scalable as you would deem for getting measurements. So we have about 135 aircraft that fly the country, um, the UK, um, as well as Canada and Hawaii. Um, we're really excited about that just because we continue to develop new camera systems to make it even sharper of an image. So when we're looking at this kind of graph, you'll see just where the benefits are when you fly the aircraft rather than have a drone or a satellite. So all of our reports are based upon the imagery that we take um, where we're typically around seven to 10,000 feet. We're capturing just a lot of data. The way we do it is basically just how you mow, the, mow your lawn, back and forth, back and forth. It's probably the most boring flight in the world. But that's how we capture imagery. We typically capture imagery every 12 to 16 months to make sure we're capturing as much of the structures, new builds as we can uh, going forward. Um, next slide, please, Doug. One of the things that we've been focusing on as of the last couple of years with understanding that contractor workflow, right? And I think one of the biggest things that we've seen is how do you compress these projects? And the, really the best way to think about this is that our aerial imagery and the data that it derives is actually fixated on just how it makes your workflow better. So when we're talking about with these partners, the integration partners, that's where the data is able to go and land, right? So when Tom was talking about, you know, writing down notes and trying to find it, who's the name, right? We want to build as many things as possible that allows you to kill the time killers, right? So the time killers, when you think about your typical process, are sales, it's, it's bids and contracts, it's production, it's the contract actual, and the follow-up. And so what we're going to talk about today is, is how EagleView um, ourselves is able to kind of fit through all those different waves of that process that helps expedite all those typical workflows. So you can actually save a lot of time, right? Timing is the number one thing that all of our contractors tell us that they need more of. So if we're able to actually get that data into job progress and leap and have that carry through that entire job, you're saving a lot of time that allows you to bid more jobs or just spend more time with your family or be quite frank, instead of being a micromanager, you can be a leader in the business. Yeah. Awesome. Appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, Mike, tell us a little bit about company cam. Yeah. So company cam is a photo documentation software uh, for contractors. I, sh I should add video as well. Um, I always leave that out. Um, but yeah, the, you know, kind of the, the value proposition, I guess would, would be most contractors um, are having their employees out in the field, do a lot of photo and video documentation for, a bunch of different purposes, right? For liability protection, internal communication, external communication with your customers, uh, proof of work, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, the issue that most companies run into is regardless of where those photos end up, I think we'll get into that today a little bit, whether that's job progress or leap or into a Google Drive or whatever it might be. 
all of their people are taking photos just locally on their phone, right? It's the easiest way to do it. They're used to taking photos, like pull out your phone, take photos, and it's done. Uh, but then that in itself creates a, a pretty sizable bottleneck, right? Where you might have you know, multiple people all out on a job site, all taking photos, and then maybe they forget that day to upload them. Maybe they go to another job site, and now you're, you know, your photos are mixed up between job sites. You take some photos of your dog, that sort of thing. Uh, so what we do is automate that entire process. So company cam from the point of capture is going to geotag your photo, organize it by the job site, uh, daytime location, and then importantly, tag it with who actually took the photo and then sync that to the cloud. So the actual process of organization and dissemination throughout your whole company is done automatically, right? So then like saving time, obviously, but then you have to think of it kind of also as if as soon as somebody snaps a photo of something important, when they have that context, like what do they want to do with it? They want to add notes to it. They want to tag other people in that, right? Uh, and what company can ultimately becomes from, from what our customers tell us, you know, is a tool that augments the communication um, from the job site to the field. You know, what does it mean when somebody has you know, hit arrived at a job site or, you know, clocked in? What are they doing from clock in to clock out? Having just real-time photo and video data synced across your entire organization and all the tools that you're using as well um, to reference, you know, what's actually going on uh, tends to alleviate a lot of headaches, a lot of second rolls out to job sites, uh, and alleviates a lot of the you know, consternation that a homeowner might have if you're sharing this kind of stuff with them in real time when they're at work or, you know, God forbid, like, you know, a storm rolls through and they're at a hotel, something like that. So mostly just, you know, photo video documentation, and then we take care of all of the organization and all of that on the back end. Awesome. Appreciate that. Um, all right. Leap will tell you just a, a high level overview of Leap because we're going to dive into it, I think, in more more extensively here in a minute, but it, essentially it's a sales enablement platform. So it empowers your your team to uh, be at the kitchen table um, and have everything they need at their fingertips to be able to um, get that homeowner from the point of need all the way through to uh, a solution. Um, and so that includes things like putting together an estimate, presenting proposal, uh, getting a contract in front of them to sign, showcasing the value in your company, um, and getting them, you know, uh, uh, whether it's approved for financing or, or capturing payment via check or credit card, whatever method that may be, and then allowing that sales rep to result that appointment and move on to their next appointment. So it keeps that sales rep super efficient, provides a really great customer experience so that the homeowner uh, is uh, able to have everything they need at their fingertips and uh, the sales rep's not spending three hours in the home because uh, of all the manual antiquated processes that, that a, lot of, a lot of them still do today. Uh, and again, we'll we'll dive into to more of that here as we go. Uh, but Pam, tell us a little bit uh, a little bit about Engage. Hello, everyone. Uh, glad to be here. So, uh, as Maddie mentioned at the top, Engage is the um, industry leading sales presentation platform for the home improvement industry. And the way we are industry leading is that we allow folks to be able to create interactive, dynamic presentations that are, if I may say so, engaging. Um, by leveraging video natively and also um, using high quality images and uh, allowing for uh, what we call progressive reveal. So you're able to click on content um, within the presentation to have an in-depth conversation with the customer rather than bombarding them with information right up front, especially a lot of text. We don't believe in that. <laughs> Next slide, Tom. Uh, and then our, on the back end of our platform, we have a number of great value adds that are really helpful for folks who are in more marketing management positions or in sales leadership. So um, our platform allows for folks to be able to share presentations instantly across our cloud-based application, whether that's on Windows, Mac, or iOS. Um, and everybody will have the latest version of the presentation. We do not allow for previous versions to exist if the um, creator of that presentation has made an update. So marketing managers love us because it allows you to keep your marketing and sales messaging aligned at all times. You will never have a sales rep in the home presenting with old information, old promotions, or old products if you're using the Engage platform. Um, additionally, we offer rich analytics to help sales managers to hold their reps accountable. And one of the biggest things we hear from sales managers is that they don't have enough time to be able to go on ride-alongs with all of their reps, especially if they have high turnover in their market or they're having to train a lot of new reps. It's really challenging to get the FaceTime with all of them that they want. 
our analytics help them to understand what's going on in the home through essentially a digital ride along experience. Awesome. And, and Pam, I think it's amazing. Like I, I, I remember you, <laughs> I remember trying to sell a Patriot red shingle in, in a market. I couldn't sell a Patriot red shingle. <laughs> like if I had had that information in real time and knew that like, you know, these things aren't available, um, and I'm maybe going through, um, uh, an engaged presentation talking about the different colors that we have available and like mm -hmm. knowing I couldn't sell it, that would have been really, really valuable. Um, and I know the, the analytics are really, um, I just want to touch on them for a minute because like, we don't really get into it uh, today because we're kind of talking about what that um, customer experience is as opposed to um, the the benefit that a business receives from this analytics. But can you just touch on kind of the use case and where where businesses see value in, in having that? Yeah. So I, I think that everybody knows that people collect a lot of data. They don't necessarily use data. 36% um, of companies out there are actually not using the majority of their data. Um, only 12% of data that's actually out in the world is being fully utilized across businesses. Um, so there's a lot of stuff that's out there that people just aren't leveraging. Um, part of our, our analytics platform is the visualization component. So we have an advanced analytics tool that allows sales managers to essentially slice and dice their views across their team, across their regions, um, across the different kinds of presentations that they have. And so what's really helpful is that they can get in there and see who's presenting what, how long they're presenting it, and also understand um, you know, what's working and what's not. What I, what I really love about this from a marketing director perspective is that you'll often hear from sales, from sales reps, oh, like it's just not working. It just doesn't work. But then the sales leadership and the marketing leadership can go into the platform and see what's actually been presented. Is the sales rep presenting information about warranties in the home? Are they actually having that warranty conversation? If you can see that they're not even presenting the warranty content, that gives you the answer right there. It's a, it's a sales presentation problem. It's not a product problem. Um, versus if they're spending all of that time talking about warranties, they're going through the video that you asked them to present, but they're still not selling it. From a sales and marketing alignment perspective, it allows you to make changes to the presentation. So I really like that it provides answers for you, um, whether you're a sales manager, a marketing manager, or a sales rep. Yeah, thanks. Appreciate that. Um, and, and just for, for, for all of you that are on here, if, if you have questions or, or you're interested in something, let us know in the chat. Uh, we won't be able to, I don't think we'll be able to get to all the questions, but if we can, um, uh, we will, and we'll, we'll answer them uh, kind of as we go if they're pertinent to what we're what we're talking about. I'd also like to know if, if, if you use one or two or three or four or all of these solutions, let us know in the chat and let us know what you're using, what works for you. Uh, always interested to see, um, you know, folks that are that are using these solutions in the field. So that'd be great too. Um, all right. So what we what we really want to talk to today uh, is about these different solutions and 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 the integrated nature of them, as opposed to, um, you know, kind of an outdated process or outdated system. And I want to look at the customer journey here. So I've kind of broken this down and just really five very basic, <laughs> very basic stages here, you know, marketing, a sales process and production. So lead estimate, presentation, contract install, right? Just super high level. Um, and when we broke this down and started looking at like, okay, where do we all play in this, in this sort of space? And um, this slide, hopefully don't go cross-eyed looking at this, but essentially it's just <laughs> showing you, you know, lead and appointment and follow up and production. You can see that we're all kind of um, all, all involved in the different aspects here. Um, but I thought what would be helpful is to actually walk through, um, you know, the homeowner's journey from the time, I'm sorry, the contractor's journey from the time the homeowner calls in to the time that they, you know, meet with a sales representative to the time that their job gets installed um, and, and payments collected. And so I want to walk through that, utilizing the different aspects of technology here and maybe uh, contrasting that to, you um, you know, the, the way that things were done, uh, I say 20 years ago, but I know for some folks it's yesterday, for some people it's today. Um, and so it's not this, you know, far out thing. It's actually, it still happens today. And, um, and, and even if you're leveraging some of this technology, like I see on, on in the chat here, um, I want to make sure that you're leveraging these and the integrations that are built because folks, <laughs> folks like Mike and Brady and, and us, we didn't, you know, these integrations weren't built for us, they were built for you. And so we want to make sure you're leveraging these um, to help your business run smoother. So the way we'll kind of look at this is, 
you know, the initial, the initial thing that happens is generally is a, is a phone rings and there's a, there's a lead. And so if we start talking about technology and, and the, the way things used to be done, it's okay. Uh, homeowner calls in, they say they've got a leaky roof. And so they write down, you know, okay, what's your name? What's your, what's your phone number? What's the address? Hopefully they get those kind of things. Uh, you know, are you available on Tuesday at two o'clock for, for Tom to come out and, and take a look? And they'd say, yes. So they pass that note over to the sales rep or maybe they're, uh, or maybe they have adopted technology and they put it into an Excel spreadsheet, which, <laughs> which is, uh, I joke about because it, that's technology in some aspects, but there's much better ways. Right. And, and I think you all know that that's why you're on this webinar. So, um, what we're, what I want to talk to you about here today is kind of the initial start, right? So by leveraging job progress, you're going to be able to keep track of that customer information. And so. I'm just going to walk through a str streamlined approach here, clicking this plus sign, clicking add lead, and you're going to input that customer information. What's nice about that is when you've inputted this customer information, you have it in one place. And if you remember before, when I had to enter that information 27 times on different pieces of the paper and in different areas, there's just a lot of uh, opportunity for, for data entry errors and, and things getting lost here. It's in one central place. Next thing I'm going to do is assign a job to that. Because again, if I've done the roof for this customer and they're calling me three years later because they want their gutters done, I want to be able to assign different jobs to that, to that homeowner. Um, and I don't want to have to be going down to the filing cabinet and pulling out that information uh, and trying to find it. I was visiting with one customer about a month ago and they have one of these huge rooms. Guys, you'd probably appreciate this. It's this huge room that's just ceiling to, to uh, or floor to ceiling of just yellow manila folders in one of these big things that you crank and it just slides around. I don't know if you guys have ever seen one of those, but it was intense <laughs> and it has all their customer files from, from long ago. And, uh, you know, if a customer calls in, it's a repeat customer from 20 years ago, they got to, they actually have to go find this file. And, uh, so by having a CRM, uh, that really, uh, helps you keep track of that customer and the jobs that you've done for them. Um, but from here, what I want to talk about is once I've got that customer, I've assigned a job to it. The next thing I want to do is order an Eagle View report because I want to know what those measurements are of that, of that property. And so for me and, and Brady, maybe, maybe you have other experiences, but for me, the best time to do that is when that lead calls in and you know, you've got an appointment and it's tomorrow at 2 PM and I need to get out there. Let me order this Eagle View report so they can have it and turn it back to me. Yeah, a hundred percent. I, I think it's one of those things when you're going to to the appointment, you want to be prepared. And if we've historically have found that when you're showing up with the measurements and a proposal already created, you, know, you have that much more oomph of confidence to go and close the job. I mean, not not to mention too, if we're talking about onboarding new new employees, you want to make sure that they have what they need to be successful. So having that the, the data, the measurements data before you get there is so important. So you're not taking time to do hand measurements or visiting the site twice, um, again, back to the time savings. So yeah, absolutely imperative to get that review report data in early so you can go be the best in front of the homeowner. And, and Brady, I think this is fantastic here. I mean, you're able to order this, place this order right from within job progress. You've already got the customer details. You've already got their address. It's just in one centralized place. And, uh, you know, by selecting the product that I want, you know, you guys offer a, a variety of different products. And so if I'm there to do the roof and, and maybe I order that premium report on the roof, uh, I, I can, you know, you can see here, I can select if I want the walls, if I want uh, uh, walls, windows and doors and all those different things. And I, I think that's great. And you can place the order right here and uh, you don't have to go anywhere else. You're done. That's it. And we, I mean, don't get me wrong. We, we appreciate people who do go to eagleview.com, but at the end of the day, we don't, you don't need to go to two different screens. You stay in job progress, the integration's there for a purpose. So if you don't have your account synced with, with the job progress or CRM, do it, absolutely do it so that you don't have to hop around and trying to get something from us and then send it over to job progress. They, you've, job progress has done all the work to embed this experience, um, which is a phenomenal experience so that you can focus on the job and the homeowner and not trying to go back and forth between applications. Hey Brady, I think what also is great is it, it minimizes friction. You know, you've got the person who enters this information in there, they create a job and they can order the Eagle View report and it all takes, you know, just a matter of minutes and you're not having to relay to somebody else in the, in the, in the company to, Hey, can you order, can you go in and order the Eagle View reports for this or for that? Uh, it's all right here. It's, it's really seamless and, and a, a really easy experience.
Absolutely. I, and just just to go a little further, it's just, you know, this the, the data that comes from us, it gets planted into to leap or to job progress, it auto populates the fields for you. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to go and fat finger number in there or try to get it from the actual printout of the PDF report. Um, it's automatically integrated, so it'll automatically fill the fields for you. So you don't have to make any mistakes or take the time to do it. So it's it's a great experience. Yeah, I love that the map popped up too, right in there. And it's a small detail, but it's really cool. <laughs> yep, that's that's very cool. Yeah. Identify the property is <laughs> very important piece, so that we know yeah. exactly where it is, and then off you go, choose your product and and uh, start your proposal. Yep, and so it's as simple as you click place order, and then really from there, I'm I'm jumping now, right? But you, that uh, that homeowner's called in. You've put everything in there. You've ordered the yield report, and now it's time to run that appointment. That may be, you know, an hour later. That may be later that night. It may be the next day. It may be a week later. It just depends on, you know, homeowner availability and your and your your sales team's availability. But I'm I'm jumping now to when we get to the home. And Mike, this is really where, for me, uh, as as a former you know contractor and sales rep, like I'm pulling out company cam and I'm going to start capturing that project. So maybe you can help walk us through kind of what that looks like and the value that it brings um, at the at the point of sale. Yeah. Well, if you're talking more like what you would actually want to capture and that's you could probably speak better to that as a contractor uh but i can I talk about the general workflow yeah. um which is uh and again like we're talking through this as like a unified tech stack right so um if you have job progress for example um you know tom's highlighting the create project button right here which easy enough if you're not integrated creates a project for you geotags it automatically but if you have jp that'll automatically create the project in company cam for you. And what's nice is how company cam organizes everything. Like you might have thousands of leads in job progress, right? Thousands of unique customer folders, uh, but for your uh, purposes in company cam, we'll geotag that, that customer file, we call it a project and then geo organize it according to your, you know, your people out in the fields location, right? So whatever jobs that they're on, we'll pull that up automatically they just start snapping photos and all of that stuff syncs automatically to company cam available for anyone else when they show up on that job site, right? Like production down the line. Uh, and then all of that stuff is automatically syncing into job progress. And we'll get to it in a bit uh, into leap as well, right? We talked a little bit about like the tools that the company cam has internally, you know, like sharing with your customer, you know, we'll get to some other stuff. But I think the number one thing people ask for is like, I want all of that photo data, all that video data from the second it's captured with all of my markups and notes in my other software tools, right? And so that's what's going to happen as soon as you're capturing stuff in company cam, it's available in all of your other tools as well. Um, but yeah, really easy. Open up company cam. Your people will have the folder pulled up. They take a thousand photos. We're the best in the game at syncing, right? So like take, you got one bar, you got, you know, half a bar. It doesn't much matter. We'll compress, uncompress, push it into wherever you need it to go. Awesome. Like, yeah. And I, you know, I, I flipped through some, some photos here and, you know, for me, it was always important to capture, first of all, find out what the homeowner, uh, why they called you out there. Right. <laughs> I think that's first and foremost, the most important thing, but capturing the images of that, you know, is there damage, is there rot, is there, uh, um, you know, something that you're noticing that, that should be called out. I always like to capture a picture of the front of the home um, because I'll show in a little bit. I like to put that on the on the proposal to really customize it to that to that homeowner. Um, but really, you're, you're you're capturing all of those photos um, to help better set you up for success as you as you go forward. Whether that's selling the job um, or following up or communication post uh, install, all of those uh, th these photos are um, they're 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 invaluable. You you need them. And uh, company cam does a does a great job of syncing those and capturing those and, and enabling you to do whatever you want with them. So once you're out there, you've walked around with the homeowner. Now it's really time to sit down with with them and discuss the project. And so uh, if I'm opening up Leap on my iPad, you know, I've got my customer there uh, that's that's pulled over and synced from job progress. And I skipped over this a little bit, but essentially when they've put that customer in and they they created a job and they assigned it to a sales rep, that auto syncs to their leap account. So now that sales rep uh, can just go out in the field. They know what their appointments are for today. And, uh, you know, they've got all the information they need there. Again, minimizing the, the having to write that homeowner's name down 27 times. So I've gone into estimates here and if I'm going to give them a roof estimate, um, I want to be able to pull in those Eagle view measurements. Remember I ordered that Eagle view report, uh, when that lead came in, 
And now it comes time to actually put together an estimate. So I'm just going to tap on that Eagle View button. You can see the address there. Yep, that's the that's the one I want. And what happens when I tap that? It automatically brings over all the measurements and puts them in the places that it that it needs to be. So for instance, if I'm putting ice and water shield in the valleys and on the eaves, well, I want to make sure that my eave measurement plus my valley measurement gives me enough coverage for that ice and water shield. Um, but all of that formula and calculations and everything is happening in the back end. So if uh, not to nerd out, but if you get 66 feet per roll of ice and water shield, and I've got 87 feet of, of eaves and valleys, I know I need two rolls of ice and water shield. Well, I don't have to sit here and do all that math in my head. This does it all for you. It pulls in those measurements, does the computations, and is able to real quickly, by clicking done here, uh, spit out a price. And not just one price, but a good, better, best. You could have 30 prices. <laughs> I don't recommend it. Um, but you can have as many different packages as you want in there and you know, be able to swipe left and right and those kind of things. In this case, you know, I've put together a, a, an estimate for a duration shingles. Um, but it just happens so quickly and, and seamlessly. And, and I'll stop because it, I'll stop there for a minute and just pause because you know, the old way of doing this is I'm going out to the home, I'm getting out a ladder and trying to go up on that roof, measure it. Uh, I'm trying to write down all those measurements. Let's hope I get them right. Let's hope I don't forget anything. You know, all those type of things. I hope I don't fall off a roof. Uh, there's just so many liabilities and, and, and reasons why uh, you wouldn't want to do that anymore. Um, but you'd have to get those measurements. Then you'd have to get up some kind of price book and, and do, you know, okay, how much of felt paper do I need? How much shingles do I need? How much drip edge do I need? Right. And, and do all those things. And then, you know, you come up with one price and the homeowner's like, well, what would also would it be now to get uh, a Berkshire shingle, a premium shingle? And you're like, oh, hold on, I'll be back in 30 minutes. And you go back to your truck and try to do all this again. It's just, it's extremely cumbersome and, and not, not efficient. Now you're running, you know, one appointment a day or two appointments a day, let's say instead of three or four a day. And so when you start to compound the time savings, uh, it, it, it's just astronomical. And so to think that you can do all of this in a matter of seconds, uh, it almost feels like a no brainer. So from here, after I've got an estimate, you know, the next thing I'm going to do in leap is jump in and create and, and create a proposal for that customer. So you know, I've got a bunch of documents and templates that are already set up. So I just tap my proposal. Again, one of the things I like to do is, you know, I've got a stock image here of a home, but if I tap on that and I tap on the little photo icon there in the middle, I can leverage the company cam and this is seamlessly integrated. So I don't have to uh, go somewhere else and grab that photo. I can just click on company cam, grab the project, grab the photo that I want. And then boom, now that's my cover image on my proposal. I'll click done. And here you go. I've got a proposal. It's got that homeowner's, uh, a photo of that, that homeowner's home on the front. Um, and you know, we act like it happens really quickly and it does. Uh, but there's a lot of stuff that happens in the back end there. <laughs> and these integrations uh, uh, have really made it so easy to not have to go back out to the home and take a photo so that you can put in your proposal. You've already captured these images. You're pulling them in from your from your company cam account. I've done a lot of talking on it. Mike, is there anything or Brady, anything that you two want to add in this this stage? You know, to your to your point, like these do re require a lot of work um, <laughs> on the, the back end, like yeah. months and months. Yeah, months and months of engineering. So shout out to those to those guys. But yeah, I mean, like I would say the biggest thing, like this is what I always point out about integrations, is like it's it's nice to have that data sync, right? To to know that you have consistent data across your whole process, and it's nice to cut out a step or two, like that compounds over the course of like a month or two, you know, and maybe get you an extra appointment or two. And, you know, those all add up. Um, the one thing I like, I always hear though, is just like, if you have a stack that just seamlessly throughout every process, there's not like one thing left to chance where like your new employee is manually having to go do something and jump on a computer and you know, do that, like, which, which adds, you know, room for them to skip that step or something like that if everything's automated uh accountability is a lot easier more importantly it's a lot easier to onboard employees and i like know just from talking to you guys uh you know our contractors that like the number one thing is not finding roofs it's finding employees um and being able to seamlessly integrate them as employees in a day rather than you know 
at like taking a second sales guy out to show them the the manual processes it just makes it a lot easier to hire new employees retain them trust them out in the field so just as we go through the stack and are showing you how everything seamlessly flows together i would just say you know think about how much easier it will be to when a massive storm rolls through if you're doing claims to onboard three new subcontractors or something like that that's a great I, point, Mike. Yeah. yeah, I couldn't agree anymore. I think staffing is always going to be that issue where, you know, we have a hard time, you know, getting them up to speed. But if they have an SOP to follow through that tech stack, through the integrations, it's it's impeccable for not just the performance of that sales rep, but for the company, right? They're taking advantage of those opportunities, which makes me think about like the whole part of the opportunity cost of doing things by hand or on this point, 27 times, which is a lot of time to write down a name, by the way. <laughs> Um, yeah, or we audited it. We counted yeah. it. I'm sure you did back in the basement with the yes. middle of yes. right? I was yeah. I was gonna point out if you're Tom's contractor that has you know eight hundred <laughs> square footage in the basement just dedicated to paper, like you're paying more in commercial square footage per month than you will for this entire tech stack, probably. Yeah, yeah. right. So yeah. Uh, and I just yeah, it's so true. I just think just if think about think about the things in your guys' processes that are time killers, right? That are just out there, just wasting a bunch of time. What's your opportunity cost? Like, I, it's best for you to be in front of the homeowner closing a job, manage your team, than hand measuring, doing geometry, handwriting proposals or multiple proposals. Right? This is what we're here to do, right? And this is why I work really hard. Our engineering teams, not these guys, but uh, to get all these things integrated to make it just seamless. Also, feedback is so important to us so if there's new things that you guys have thoughts about we're always open to that feedback so we can better learn your guys's process awesome yeah i appreciate that um all right so we've created a proposal you know i didn't mention it but you know we can send that proposal you can show them there and, and i think a logical next step though for a home for for a contractor presenting to homeowners all right let, let me present the value right like who are we what are we doing and uh you know so within within leap there's a resource section you'll see a lot of logos on there um, one of the things, well, I'm going to highlight three things as you can imagine here, but it, what I, one of the things I love about this integration with EagleView is that not only does it pull in the measurements that are needed to create an estimate, but it also pulls in that report that they create. Um, and then in addition to that, it also pulls in those photos that they use to build that report, which we can put later into a proposal or contract. So I think those are really good. But within here, if I tap on that EagleView report, again, it didn't take any additional steps. Right? I'm not adding this at this point. Uh, I haven't had to go anywhere you know, to my email or anything to find it. Everything's just associated with the address. It pulls right up here in this sales reps account. And my <laughs> my series going on my thing. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'll turn that off. Um, I'll click my next page. So if I tap on either of you, this will actually bring up that report. And Brady, I'll flip through here, but maybe if you want to give us the highlights of, of what's in here and why it's why it's valuable to, to showcase. Absolutely. So this is our typical PDF output that we create. Um, what you're seeing right now, just the orthogonal in the oblique images from the aircraft that we take to actually measure the structure. Um, this is obviously just very important right next to, to company cam, just being able to identify what's going on, what it is, right? It's also kind of cool. It's kind of a of a salesy thing to show the homeowner. We're, we're creating all these critical measurements pages. So if you need to kind of dig a little bit deeper uh, from a top view, you can actually see that with the homeowner. Um, your pitch per facet, the square footage, right? All the necessary information that's on this report to actually can help communicate that to the homeowner. This last page is probably the most important one. This involves the creating of the estimate, the data. Um, this is a visual representation. We include what's called our suggested waste factor now. We've done a lot, a lot of work on this. So if we're talking about onboarding new employees that we're actually including a waste factor that's a suggestion of where or how complex that roof is. So given that all the intricacies of that roof, that was a very simple one, um, you're at about 8%, right? So that allows that sales rep, new, old, or just needs to save time to actually calculate the field shingles for it with a suggested waste on it. And then just below that is all your critical measurements on how many different ridges, not just the quantity, but the how many different types of measurements there are. Yeah, uh, I know, Brady, you're looking at this one, I'll show later on, there's like a material list and stuff, but it's funny, they were like, no, no uh, there's no valleys on here, there's no hips, yeah. it's very straight <laughs> up and over, Super very simple. simple. Yeah, yeah we, we could do some very complex McMansions yeah. out there. That's what we're, we're good at. Uh, absolutely, I always found that it was best um, to showcase this because I, I felt that it added perceived value in my, in my pitch, you know, I'm 
these measurements are what they are. This is not a guess. This is not uh, me getting up there and, and mismeasuring. This is these are the measurements, and here are here's how they um, he, he, here's how they were created. Here's what where they came from, um, and so it's you know here's the proof, right? It's it's it is what it is because these are the measurements. So we just added validity to everything that I was doing. Hundred percent. That's what it is. Yeah. We're a third party provider that allows a contractor, the homeowner, to see what's actually on top of the roof, and that honesty kind of gets conveyed into the homeowner, which they obviously appreciate. Yep, absolutely. Uh, I'm going to come back to to you in a minute here, buddy, because um, of the other pieces that it's integrated. Um, but you know, if I click that close button, I go back into, it brings me back into the resource section. Um, I tap on my engage presentation and start going through that. And, uh, you know, I, I, Pam, I'm doing a little, little bit of a disservice to you because these are screenshots and <laughs> engage is so vibrant and interactive that screenshots probably don't do it justice, but hopefully, uh, you can speak to the value that it brings and, and how it's utilized. Yeah. So everybody here has heard a lot about kind of the more technical sides of, of roofing and it's you know we're talking about all these these technical aspects and things that the homeowner needs to understand in order to make an informed decision about the purchase they're about to make but that's not why people buy <clears throat> people do not buy things based on technical information generally it takes a very specific personality to purchase things based on technical information they buy products based on the level of trust that they have in the company that is selling to them they buy based on personal connection and they buy based on their confidence in the product and in the experience that they're going to have. So that's where Engage comes in. Um, you've gone through everything, you've had, you know, you've presented them with, with an estimate, you've talked about specific products, but they, they're going to care about who you are. And we have found through research that 80% of people are more likely to make a purchase when there's a personalized experience. So you're looking at this screen here, you're looking at this iPad, this iPad is showing engage in the iOS environment. So that's where we're really at home is the iPad, same as leap, same as everybody here. We, we really love to have, have it on the iPad. So the homeowner can interact with the content. Um, as the homeowner is going through the content, as the sales rep is taking them through the content, you're going to see all these buttons on the screen, these points of interest. That's what we call them. When you click on those points of interest, different pieces of content are revealed to the homeowner in the conversation. Um, what this allows you to do is essentially create a customized sales presentation for every single homeowner and every single interaction without having to edit any of the content in the sales presentation. You're able to have at your fingertips the content the homeowner is asking about. Through our nonlinear navigation tools, you're able to have those answers for them when they have those questions. Um, and you're also going to notice here there are a lot of very vibrant visuals. Um, everybody that you talk to talks about the importance of visuals when it comes to creative content. But 65% of people that you encounter are going to be primarily visual learners. That means that they are not going to retain information that you give them in a wall of text. In fact, um, three days after a presentation is given, only 10% of the text presented is actually remembered. That is a shockingly small amount of text um, that's remembered, especially if you're trying to present them with a concept they've never seen before. How many people buy a roof multiple times in their life? Not a lot of people. Most people buy, the, buy a roof once. Most people are doing siding once, maybe twice. Windows, once, maybe twice. Um, this is not something they do every day. They need you to put the concepts into a visual environment where they will understand them and be able to retain that information. Um, additionally, people process text 60,000 times fast, or they process visuals 60,000 times faster than text. Um, everybody has talked about how people don't have time. No one has time. It's just, it's, it's a fact of life. We have no time. Um, I, I talk to a lot of contractors. I come from FinTech and, and tech sales, so it's my background. I was not in contracting like Tom was, but I talk to enough of them where I, I hear about the old days of the four-hour appointment. You're not going to get a four-hour appointment anymore. Most people do not want to sit through 100 pages of a PowerPoint presentation about everything and then spend two hours you know, schlepping around the property to go through every single thing that's wrong with their house. You're lucky if you need a two leg appointment, you are lucky to get an hour. You're lucky to get 90 minutes if you need both homeowners present. The way you are going to be able to cut down on the amount of time in your appointment is not by skimping on the inspection. It's not by you know, not doing the safety elements properly. It's by providing a more efficient method 
of getting information to the customer. So you're going to do that with high quality visuals. You're going to do that with video. And there's also been research done into video where 95% of people are more likely to remember concepts and information from video than text. That's, that's astonishing. And if you're not using video in your sales presentation today, you really should be. Um, and one of the perks of Engage is that we host video natively and can have it offline for your use, um, which is a really big, big seller, especially if you're going to be in a more rural area. You're not sure if you're going to have a lot of cell connection. You want offline access. So I've thrown a lot of stuff at you. And the question is, what does any of this mean? How does this actually impact my business? Um, we have done some really great studies with our customers and have some great case studies available on our website, but I want to pull two different points for you guys. So the first is we did a case study with a roofer, a large roofer in Michigan. Um, they are, uh, a, they are a distributor of one of our major manufacturers on our platform. They do whole home remodeling, a whole home exterior remodeling. And the biggest factor that they have found that's changed in their business since implementing an interactive sales presentation is that their customers trust them so much more because they've used video, they've used high quality visuals, and they've, they've used an interactive presentation to answer their questions in the moment to where they have increased their close rate by 7.5 points. Um, that's an enormous amount of money every single year to bring into your business just from changing out your sales presentation. And the real selling point they found is using video to explain install. So when you think about, a cost, again, a customer who buys a roof once in their life, does siding once in their life, they don't know what installation is going to look like. They don't know what demolition is going to look like. They don't know what the dumpster that you're going to roll into their front yard is going to look like. If you can show them all of that in a quick video and say, this is exactly what we're going to do. We park the dumpster here. We're going to be doing tear off. This is what it's going to look like. This is what, you know, putting the insulation on is going to look like. They're going to feel more confident and be able to make decisions. Additionally, um, we do have a, we have a design build customer, um, Sun Design, uh, they're on our, on our website. You can go take a look at it. But I do want to highlight this because we have a lot of customers who come to us who've never had a sales presentation. Either they spent most of their time in damage restoration, or they've done other types of projects where maybe a sales presentation wasn't as important, or they're from a more custom world like design build. Um, Sun Design implemented Engage and a codified initial sales process so that they have a multi-step process because they are design build versus replacement remodeler. Um, but they actually have increased their design agreement signatures by 13 points since implementing a codified sales presentation and using high quality visuals to tell their story versus just having a conversation and maybe handing them some brochures. Uh, it's, it's really just a, a, big, a big difference. Homeowners today have different expectations. They have less time. Um, you know, they want to learn using video. They spend all day scrolling on TikTok and on Instagram. They do not want carbon copies of contracts. They do not want to have, you know, paper brochures handed to them, they're going to lose it. So <laughs> they want an interactive dynamic experience. And that's what you have to provide now to compete in the market. Yeah, oh, absolutely. I think that's uh, great. I appreciate that insight, Pam. It's really helpful. And yeah. uh, Mike, don't ever forget that company Kim also has video and like the, uh, you can take video. The video is very important. Walkthroughs, yes. 4K walkthroughs. <laughs> Yes. And is. the beauty is company cam and leap integrate engage and leap integrate. Yeah. So you don't really ever leave the, yeah. the environment that you're in. If you're, if you want to show videos from multiple places, if you want to yeah. have all of that custom experience, it's all in one frame to the homeowner. It feels like it's a single app experience. Yeah. And, and, that, I, and I don't want to oh, go ahead. Mike. Go ahead I, Mike. Say, I don't want, I don't mean to step on uh, if you're going to talk about this later, Pam, uh, as far as like, reporting like sales reporting dashboards that like the dashboards available if you are i'll just like stop um <laughs> you can go if, ahead uh <laughs> okay i was like i'm only gonna point out like there are you know i know we all work in tech like my company i know pays six figures a year for like a sales platform to make sure people are like hitting the things that they should be hitting in calls on a daily basis when you take that a step further and your sales people are remote you know they're out in the field you know, having tools that I think Pam will talk about that are eight, like to more seamlessly lock in those standard sales procedures is huge. Like it's the hardest thing to do, I think, in this industry, um, other than find. 
people to <laughs> to go and actually <laughs> rip off roofs for you. Well, it's that it's that full life cycle stage of hiring yeah. at companies. You know, you yeah. want to you want to retain your talent. People don't want to stay if they don't feel like they're getting something out of their relationship with their employer. And mm-hmm. I've found with sales reps, regardless of what industry I'm in, I've been in traditional tech, I've been in fintech, I've been here, I've talked to other folks. They want coaching. Mm-hmm. They want coaching. They, they want to feel like they're going to get developed in their career versus just going through the grind. And, yeah. and if, if they don't get development, they're going to leave. And if they're not telling you, they're telling their colleagues. Is oh, 100%. The other thing. You know, like <laughs> the amount of people in any organization that are going to their colleagues, their mutuals, and saying, I don't feel like I'm getting the support I need from my mm-hmm. leadership. I don't feel like I know what I'm supposed to be doing in my job. I don't feel like I'm performing to the standard mm-hmm. that's being held. Um, that's what makes people leave. More yeah. than we'll, have to, we'll, have, yeah. we'll have to have you guys on. We'll do it. We'll do another <laughs> webinar in the interest of time. I know we've yeah. got about nine minutes. So I'm going to push, push through here and, and, uh, hopefully sell this homeowner and, yeah. uh, actually install the project and collect payments. So let me jump through here. Um, you know, Pam had mentioned like the integrations and in, in, in Mike, I mean, these, there's a deep link here that opens the engage app right here. So again, it gives that experience that, that you're just in one application the entire time and allows that sales rep to, to, to stay in one place for at the point of sale. Um, um Mike, I'm going to go fast on here, but you know, you do have access to, to the company, your company cam account. So if you want to highlight something or a photo and, and show, you know, what you're doing or what you're, what you're going to be doing or why you're doing it, uh, you do have that functionality. And again, by clicking done, you're, you're just staying right within that. Um, platform. I'm not going to touch on this. There's a ton of integrations, obviously, with you know getting somebody financed and having that experience. So again, keeping your sales rep in one place. Um, but I did want to jump into the contract. So when it comes time to make that sale, you'll see here the photos have pulled in again um, that were part of that Eagle View report, the photos that were used. Um, you also have the ability to add uh, more photos. So let's say you want to throw in some company cam photos in there. Um, if you do want to throw in um, a photo and I'm glad Pam had mentioned this. Like, let's say you want to show them where you're putting the dumpster and, and where you're dropping material right on their home. So you're being very visual with these things and not just talking about it. You're actually showing them where those go. Um, so, you know, by clicking done again, you just, you're creating a simple agreement that has that very specific uh, information that's very pertinent to that homeowner um, in that document. Um, but once you've created that contract, I mean, next thing you're going to sign that, right? Um, so Leap does enable you to, to sign right on, on an iPad or maybe you're doing this over zoom uh, or over some other video platform you can do that too and you can simply send this contract for an e-signature either via text or email uh, so homeowner can sign this you know from from a text message um, you, we integrate with docusign or we have a free native version on there as well so either options available um, and they would get that in their inbox um, if i'm a sales rep the next step that i'm going to do here is just result this lead because I'm going to give visibility back into the business as to what happened. So I'll result this. Hey, this is close one. Great job. We high five. And now the nice part about this integration, the sales are, I just click result sold. Here's the things you need to know. And all this information gets pushed back into job progress. So it's got my proposal and my contract and the results of the appointment, all of that flows in here. And if I you know click on the contract, there's that contract that we just signed via this integration, it automatically pushes back. And again, I was visiting a, a customer just a couple of weeks ago and they were telling me there was a sales rep that had been there five or six years, so pre, pre-leap. pre um, And they used to have to pick up like 14 different pieces of paper to put together a contract for a homeowner. And he forgot one of those pieces of paper when he built this you know, stack of papers. And he had to <laughs> he had to drive two hours back to that customer to bring them that paper, to get him to sign it, and then come back to the office. And it's an opportunity cost. You know, he missed running another appointment, a potential, you know, uh, a commission check that he left on the table. And uh, all of this, these integrations, you know, they, they help out there because this stuff just seamlessly communicates back and forth so that you're not having to do those physical, you know, baton handoffs um, for the business. This also allows your production people to know, okay, job sold, let's move it to the next stage. Um, so within job progress, you know, contract, let's, uh, you know, next step, let's create that material list. Let's get that ordered. Let's get the material for that uh, job ordered. It's another great spot where you may want to reference that, that you could be report. Um, I just pulled that up here. Um, and then uh, job gets actually uh, scheduled to be performed. So, uh, you know, within job progress, there's things you can do um, to communicate with the crew. And so everybody's on the same page. Um, from a, from a production standpoint, 
Uh, and Mike, I did want to talk a little bit about how company cam helps too in that process um, of communication between homeowner and contractor. I'll, I'll try to yada yada as much as possible okay, perfect. Uh, just for the sake of time. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is kind of a, some companies really like this. Some companies don't um, company cam has what's called project timelines. You can think of this as just like a live updating portal uh, that the customer can go look at any time throughout the actual production side of things. So if you're, you know, homeowner, you know, at work, they're in a hotel, something like that. Uh, if you want to have, you know, to give them that additional value add, you know, like we are transparent as contractors, we'll let you look at the jobs at any point uh, that is available for you as well. Awesome. Um, so then, you know, installation's happening, job gets completed, you obviously want to get paid. And so again, you, w within job progress, it's really all in one. I mean, from what's this, I think the expression soup to nuts, um, it, it does it all, right? And so you want to invoice for that project. You want to collect payment. Um, we'll send an invoice. Uh, Mike, a lot of what I talked about is kind of retail oriented. And obviously there are a lot of companies out there that do retail and insurance some more strongly than others. Um, but I know, you know, this is be great. It's just a retail job. I'm getting my invoice, but I know company camp can help out too. When we're talking supplementing and those type of things, if we, you know, take off my retail hat and put on my insurance hat. Yeah. So, you know, PDF photo reports are, you know, gold to insurance adjusters. So a, if you're trying to get funds released, you know, like, Hey, here's the scope of the exterior of the house. Here's the scope, like the, the state of the gutters, uh, more importantly, like, you know, you're collecting hundreds of photos from your people. Uh, you want to be able to put those in like a digestible format for your insurance adjusters. This is what, you know, contractors always tell me is their favorite thing. If they're using them, you know, like take, you know, 30 of your photos of roof caps and, you know, what, whatever you might be doing to get a couple extra thousand dollars out of the job, uh, drop that into your exact domain, you know, go off to the races. Awesome. Um, and then, you know, I'm just result in this, this job it's paid we're good. Um, and we're done, right. It's on to the next appointment on to the next lead, waiting for that phone to ring or go out there and generating business. Um, you know, w with about two minutes left here, and I want to be respectful of everybody's time. Uh, I've got, you know, our pictures on their email addresses, that kind of thing. So please reach out to us, take a photo, take a screenshot. Uh, so you have our contact information. Um, but I want to hand it back over to Maddie. So, uh, she can talk about some offers and next steps. Thank you so much, Tom, Mike, Pam, Brady. Uh, that was a wonderful presentation. I've worked pretty closely with, um, all of the companies that were involved in this presentation at this point, and I learned a lot. So I'm assuming, you know, those who joined us today also were able to take a lot away from this, which is exactly what we were hoping for. Um, we wanted to come together and bring you some special offers. I have three up on um, the screen here, Engage, Leap, and Company Cam. Um, but if you check your emails over the next few days, you will also be receiving offers from Job Progress and Eagle View as well. So tomorrow um, or Friday, you'll be getting a email with um, the recording of this webinar. So you can send those to your coworkers. You can send it to anyone who you feel in the industry could take advantage of this information and use it um, to help their business, to help your business, whatever it may be. Um, feel free to share that. Um, and please take advantage of these specials, you know, engage 20% off one year, leap 60 days on us, company cam 50% off two months. And like I said, job progress and Eagle View will also have some offers coming your way via email. Um, I'm going to put a poll up right now. Um, and this is just gonna ask you what companies you'd like to hear more from. Like I said, you'll be getting an email uh, with the recording um, and in that we'll have all of the company's information in it. But this, if you respond that you want to list from one or more of these companies, you can go ahead and click as many as you feel um, you would like to hear from and they will reach out to you directly. Yeah, I should also just point out, I, I think this is the case for everyone. Like all of these integrations between our software products are free. Like it doesn't cost anything to, to sync up your company cam with your leap or your engage with your leap. So if you're already using both of them and not, uh, integrating, you know, them, like you're doing yourself and your company a disservice. So get that fixed. That's um, a great point, and then, yeah. <laughs> um, and then the only other thing, um, I would point out is I think the majority of these things, like 
most of our companies are going to offer you like free trials, free demos. So if you are interested, don't feel like you're you're going to have to pay up front to, to, to okay. test it out. Most of us will will let you test it out. And if you say you were at this webinar, I guarantee you that there's something, some lever you can pull if if Brady's not giving away Eagle View for free or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So. No, I, I appreciate it. Mike, it's a good point. Uh, you know, if you if you using one or, or many of these, reach out to your account managers. Uh, people can help get you um, set up so these integrations are all uh, either live or working or, or work with you to make sure you're taking advantage of, of what's available. Perfect. Well, I'm going to close this poll. If you did participate in the poll, thank you very much. All those companies will be reaching out to you over the next few days. Um, just one more time, make sure you keep a lookout on your email from all of us. I'm sure you'll be getting different offers here and there. Um, you know, we, we are here to be there for you, whatever we can do for you, whatever questions that you have off of this, or if you come up with questions, you know, in a week or so, please reach out. We are here to answer them. Thank you so much for joining us. And thank you to all of our hosts and speakers today. It was great having you on. Yep. Shout out to thank Maddie. You. Thank it's you. not easy to coordinate four uh, different <laughs> companies in a webinar and shout out to, to Tom, best webinar host in the game. So absolutely. Stay classy. That. Thanks everyone. <laughs> have a great rest of your day. Bye, thank everyone. You. Thank you. Thank you.